Today is St. Patrick's Day, one of the Celtic, um, one of the Celtic saints, and there's actually a direct line from him to our Celtic cross in the St. Patrick, uh, then came over to Scotland with Columbus, then down to Iona with Aidan, and then down uh, with St. Chad into the, the area of Mercia, which then planted the monastery and they will have come and preached at wells and they would have set up holy crosses and around about the 7th 8th century they started preaching here and set up a holy cross and so it's worth knowing that this is part of our heritage and he was a, he was a, as a teenager um, kidnapped by pirates from his home somewhere around about Carlisle and taken over to Ireland to work as a slave he escaped and came back to Britain trained as a priest and went back there as a bishop to win people for Jesus and bring them the life that Jesus offered. And in that sense he followed on from the reading we got today in that Jesus says he's doing his father's work in bringing life to people and inviting them into the life of God and St. Patrick continued that and that's our calling to continue that tradition offering to people the life of God, the good news of the gospel.